It was a dramatic day in Hamburg for the elite men's race in round seven of the ITU World Triathlon Series. The race over the sprint distance was as always played out in front of large crowds. The 750 meter wetsuit swim began from the quayside and took in one lap in the Ulster. The shorter distance made for a congested scene around the swim boys. This is one of the races where spectators get close to the action and that was evident in the swim exit as South Africa's Henry Schoeman and the USA's Tommy Zafiris led them out of the water and towards T1. Spain's Mario Mola was also among the first into transition. The six lap 20 kilometer bike through the million strong metropolis was over a generally flat but technically challenging course as the lead group built up ahead of steam However, back in transition, there would be trouble brewing for South Africa's Richard Murray, who put his equipment in the wrong box and was given a 10-second penalty. Australia's Ryan Fisher took off on his own, trying to force the pace. Mola was nicely tucked in at the front of a 30-strong pack. But as the rain fell, conditions became treacherous around the tight turns, and Italian Gianluca Pizzati was among several to take a hefty tumble, but he managed to get back underway almost immediately. It could have been much worse than it actually was. Murray came into T2 first, but still had his penalty to serve. Mola had managed to steer clear of trouble as he racked his bike and was quickly out onto the flat run course for the two 2.5-kilometre laps. This was set for an exciting race with several strong runners in the lead group. But it was the two training partners, Mola and Murray, that broke away and, as usual, set a ferocious pace. Two Aussies, Jacob Birtwistle and Ryan Bailey, were still in contention, mindful that Murray still had to serve his penalty. As the rain continued to fall, the front two continued to stretch their lead. Murray opted to take his penalty just before the finishing line. The South African seemed confused as to why he'd been given the penalty. As Mola crossed the line in first, Murray could be seen gesturing to the officials. That would later see him disqualified for unsportsmanlike behaviour and stripped of his silver medal. Murray was clearly still upset as he crossed the line. Bert Whistle slowed with Fernando Alaza sprinting at level with him. The Aussie was eventually confirmed as taking the silver after a photo, while Alaza took bronze. Mola, though, back to top form as he took gold. Murray continued his protest to the race officials. When we went through the first lap, uh, I realized he didn't know, and uh, I didn't want to be the one telling him, Rich, you have the penalty, when maybe I was wrong and he didn't have it, and that would change the, the result of the race, but I felt like I had to tell him uh, at, at least to be aware of it. 